Hello, my Fireflies, and welcome back to the Cyan Firefly. It's me, Layette. And Ashley. And we are here with the award-winning Antichamber. Woohoo! This is a puzzle game. Very, very strange puzzle game. It's been around for quite a while now, actually. It was released on January 31st of last year, 2013, by a man named... Alexander Bruce. So it hasn't been out too, too long, but it's been out for a It's been out for a full year. That's quite a while in the IT world, in the video game world. Yeah. Semantics. So, this is actually the start menu, believe it or not. It actually starts you right in the game. There's no title screen. You actually have all your options right here. Oh, that's different. Invert mouse, mouse sensitivity... Uh, sound of music, which we currently have our computer muted, but you can hear the sound. It's this very strange ambient stuff. Changing screen revolution. Uh, revolution? Resolution. Jumping. Hold to walk for shift. Uh, escape to quit. And then interact with stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not do that. Uh, Let's not do that. Holy yes. freaking crap. And beyond that, we don't have too much more information. All we do know is the stuff that we've read on the Skype, pa Skype, Steam page. Uh, I have not played this before, but I have been very eager to get my hands on it. And we're gonna, I guess, click here and go. And I guess that's our level select. All right. Select of something. So it says jump. jump hole down there. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, interesting. Well, okay, we've already learned our first lesson, I guess. Apparently, you can just walk. But, uh, there's also something down here. Up. Quite I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Well, like I said, this tends to be a very strange game. What? Okay, we're gonna... Something tells me that this stuff is beyond our understanding of the game so far. This game is based very much off of uh, non-Euclidean geometry. Which, God, that stuff is just... And, uh, if you're confused about that, just understand that you live in an Euclidean world currently based off of Euclidean rules, and this game defies your understanding of physics. So, the it's game's like currently... MC Escher, the game? <laughs> the game is currently telling us to jump, so we might as well jump. And the floor didn't appear under us. So, that's okay. good to know. So, walking, the floor appears. Not walking, the... F jumping, the floor disappears. So, uh, okay. kind of Indiana Jones there. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. Okay. okay. And that's the first rule. You'll find a lot of these that teach you rules about the logic of the game. Okay, so we're going to go around here. All right. Some paths are clearer than others. All right. Okay, we have a red path and a blue path. Which is up or down. Let's take the stairway to heaven. <laughs> there we go. Wait, wait, wait. Turn around, turn around. There was a thingy. A choice may be as simple as going left or going right. Alright. Well. Same set of stairs, I guess. Um, Keep going up. Go down. Keep going up, I guess. Alright. Okay, so go, I guess we down. go down. Okay. That makes sense. Now I feel the game screwing with us. Choice doesn't matter if the outcome is the same. Okay. Not so much. What if we... And I have to notice that the signs 
have been clicked on. So we're literally actually going to the same place every single time. Hence why I said non including geometry, because we're actually ending up in the same place regardless of going up or down. Now there is something we haven't tried, going which backwards. I figure you've already figured out. Very basic puzzle. Keep in mind, we already came down this corridor. That is like... When, when you return to where you've been, things aren't always as remembered. Yes. So this is like some deep thought philosophy kind of shit going on here. Yeah, by the way. What? So, right turn. Right turn, that's two. Right turn, that's three. Right turn, that's four. We should have... Yes, we should have looped back in on ourselves by now. Okay. These lasers appear to open and close doors. One way. Okay. okay. Some, Some choices choice. leave us running around a lot without really getting anywhere. Interesting. Oh, okay. If you don't like where you've ended up, try doing something else. So pressing escape brings us back to this menu area. Okay. It's an antimatter blob. Floating. What? what? That was creepy. Where's it going? And I guess all of our lessons then appear on this wall. Oh, that's kind of So we can neat. review them. Good to know. Okay. Huh. And here's our map, which has updated. So we can choose to go back to places that we've already been. Huh. Okay. Walk. Change. That used to be jump. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Okay. Taking the first step can be harder than the rest of the challenge. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Crap. Um. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what's going on here? Okay. Well, it looks like the floor dropped out from under us. Evil little thing. Okay. We often fall into things we least expect. No shit. <laughs> okay. More invisible floors. Now, presumably, we jump. Whoa! What? That's highly irregular. Yes. Guess this is probably another lesson, though. Probably. I'm so confused. But yeah, we've learned that walking will form these invisible floors, whereas jumping gets rid of them. Some walls can just be walked through. Yes. Okay. I'm so confused. Small steps can take you great distances. Is it baking your brain yet? Just a bit. Okay. The faster you walk, the more that destabilizes. Looks like, can we drop no, this down? I no. Think so. Probably have to jump from up there then. Alright, so what if we walk slowly? We hit the laser. I don't know what that changed. Taking one path often means missing another. Which would be that path over there. Okay, so... Hmm. The argument of choice. But does the choice matter? Oh, you're hurting my head! Those are two different places. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Okay. What? Whoa. What? Okay, so this is a wall. Okay. Can we walk through on either side? What? No. So these are windows. This is a door. Okay, that's understandable. And then there's whatever buggery that what? We just that's a completely different. Oh room. Jesus! Oh my God! What? So this brain really this brain this game really <laughs> screws with your head. Okay, can we walk across this? Yes, we can. Hey, walk. Oh my god. So presumably if I jump, we'd end up down where the two stairs are. I guess, yeah. I'd rather not do that though. Is, is it a duck or, or is it a rabbit? rabbit? How we perceive a problem can change every time we see it. Oh my god. I think I know what we have to do with that one. But first... What's this? L-I-F-E Life. Life. Life ticking away. Okay. Whoa. Uh, oh. That, I guess, is supposed to be a hypercube. Pong. <laughs> Pong. It's quite irregular. One plus one equals whatever that is. It's a chair. I like how the boxes completely change in composition. Whoa. What the heck is that thing? Like an ant? I don't know. It's like a bug. Can you, like, go into any of the cubes? Nah. No? There's glass there. There's one pointed th in the other direction, so I have to wonder. MIA? Missing in action? Hmm. Oh, ow. So, none of this could actually exist in the way it does, because those boxes are clearly, the way that, the way with how depth works, these would be occupying the same places, but, again, non-standard. Non these are neat. Non-standard Oh, physics. go back to the, go back to the wheels. That's... They aren't interlocked. No, but the way that they're they're set up is neat. All these what? visuals are neat. I have to wonder if there's actually a point to being in this room or if it's all just cool physics stuff. Oh, come off it! Apparently there is a reason to be in this room. Okay. Hey, it's another one of these I'm bars so around the room, by the way. Do we have to, like, chase it? I don't know. But it's not the first time we've seen one of these. No, but it, it's weird. Like, it stops at a certain point. It stops when I'm no longer staring directly at it. Just like the other one did. So I have to wonder if I follow it all the way around, maybe it'll do something. Maybe. Maybe it's the same one that we chased out of that other room. Maybe. I don't know how much permanence is in this game. Now here's the 
here's a question for you. Would you consider this a game? Well, yes. Just from it, what we've seen so far. It is a puzzle game. This, there is stuff you actually have to figure out. Okay. And you could very easily screw up. Say if there's a place you specifically need to go. You accidentally do the wrong thing, you end up giving, getting stuck and you have to restart. Fair enough. Yeah, this is definitely a video game. This is not Dear Esther. Okay, now what did that do exactly? Oh. oh. Sorry about that. Screen screwed up. Aha! Yeah, but now can we get back to the other room? Okay. A few steps backward may keep you moving Move forwards, forward. evidently. Okay. Oh, what? This stuff's always a pain in the butt. What is this? What? What did we just do? What black magic? I don't understand! So let it fill up the whole of your vision, then step to the side. Was this like throwing yourself at the ground and missing? I guess so. Oh my god! A window of opportunity can lead to new places if you're willing to take a closer look. Oh it's look, that it's black the orb thing, thing again. This is such a strange... Uh, I don't want to go down there. <laughs> so what about the green room? What's the green room? The world looks different on the other side. Okay. Hmm. All sorts of strange little... It's such a weird little universe that they've developed here. Ooh. Okay, so I can get into this yellow field, I guess. Okay, looks like there's nothing we can actually do here. Yet. Oh, wait, turn around. What? I thought that the text on the wall had turned red. I'm not sure what you mean. Turn around. Now walk backwards. Is it just a filter on it? It looks like. Nah, it's the. It's this. This makes everything look a little yellow. See? Mm. What? Oh my god! Uh, now there's a purple room. Mm, that wasn't there two seconds ago! Uh. Oh, look! No, no. Wanna know? Ah, oh, okay. Mind fuckery. There we go. <laughs> Back here. Oh my god. It's something I need to do to my D&D players at some point. Just don't you dare. Alright, let's head back here. Just to cry. Okay, that cube is still gone, so I assume that it's still progressing. I think as long as you direct it all the way through where it needs to go when you absorb your surroundings you may notice things that you didn't see before yeah like a room within a room okay what's this hmm Okay. You're one of these. So, going straight down here and then turning this way brings us... What? <sighs> oh my god. I guess that's a hint. Oh 
Bah! Oh my god! Okay, maybe... What the fuck? Follow the green. Apparently. But which green do you follow? Oh man! Which green do you follow, Azalee? What? 